Hi friends, today I'm going to talk to you about trucks. Now there was a lot of discussion in my prior video about my affinity for the four wide design, meaning that vehicles that have this four stud wide um, aspect are ideal for Lego villages because it allows you to get a lot of buildings into a small space and a lot of types of buildings into a small space and I think that that is more conducive for the average person to be able to have a very large city experience in a very small space. Now part of that of course is trucks. Trucks are in the city. There's no way around that. So I'm going to start with a little discussion about how you do that. Now this is the classic Lego semi. This is, I'm going to check my notes here, this is set number 6692. I believe it is the first minifig capable semi and its notable design feature of course is that you can tip the cab to see that there's no engine there but aside from that uh, it's a really cool set now we've customized this very slightly i think there's an added antenna and i'm not sure if these are originally yellow or not i really don't remember and, and then there's some details here and there an extra sticker on the back and stuff like that um, oh and it seems to be missing Seems to be missing a piece on the bottom. I'll have to fix that another time. Now, the only real flaw to this, uh, as far as I can tell, is that, of course, you're missing some of the fancy lights along the tops of the trailers and things like that. And you could add those if you wanted to. Um, also, the cab is missing tail lights, uh, brake lights on the back, but I think you could add that. There's plenty of room to fit that without interrupting the trailer. And uh, the other thing from a usability standpoint, what is in here? Oh, it seems to be... A Part of the chassis. All right, well, there you go. Uh, is we had one of these, uh, when I was a kid, when it was mine, uh, only, well, it's still mine, but when it was only mine, uh, one of these little nubs broke off. And so for a long time, if you look back on our blog, you'll find or the old videos, you'll see this truck with a red um, back door because that was the frame, only frame I had that was extra to put, put the doors on, but I replaced that at some point. The cool thing about this though is, is because it's using these larger tires is it sits higher above the road than a regular Lego car would that uses these kind of wheels. And um, I'll talk about this truck in a minute. And so you, you kind of get this big semi appearance, right? It's not quite 18 wheels, but eh, it's the same general aspect, right? And that whole trailer swinging thing, you kind of get that, but in a, in a really tidy package. Uh, so that's why I always, always like this set. Now, after this set came out, don't ask me the years because I don't know. I'd have to look it up. There was another set, which was uh, 6367. That was also a semi. It was yellow and white and blue. And it was, well, this is part of it. The trailer was double this size and it was an actual trailer. And, uh, and it was too long. It was really like so far out of scale with the length of the trailer, because I think the whole thing, it had a separate cab, which also had a long hood. It wasn't a flat nose, it was like a long hood. It was quite long and decided very early on that it wouldn't work in town. And so I adapted most of that set into this truck, which is much better around a city. It makes for a great moving truck. Uh, we you know, eventually added on the, you can just like roll things right up into the inside there. And this little piece, kind of nudges right in, in between. We kept the large wheels, because of course that's what makes it a truck in the classic size, is it has big wheels. Generally speaking, that's the differentiating uh, factor of it. And then we added hubcaps at some point. You know, if you take these off, uh, it's just the regular, see that? It's just the regular red wheels under there. But you put on a uh, one by one round thing and presto, now it's color coordinated, which is very fashionable. There's no other real interesting features about this other than the, the just kind of the bulk of it. It just looks like a big kind of truck for a city, a large truck that you'd see lumbering around making various deliveries and stuff like that. Uh, but it's only four wide. I mean, it's quite strictly four wide. So, well, except for the radio it sticks out a little bit. And that same scale kind of extends to uh, a classic fire truck, which this is from the original Lego fire station that I had. It was one of the first sets that I had. It was 6382 is the classic fire station set that this came in. Now it's been heavily modified over the years. We've added lights to the front. The light bar on the roof is a little snazzier with its sloped things there. We added some uh, lights to the back of the truck. This sticker was off of 
I have no idea, some other set <laughs> that we had, um, and and uh, we put it there, or actually I think we just moved the parts from the other set onto here. We added the uh, reflective, you know, well it's not really reflective, but it's supposed to look like the reflective tape that you see on the back of a fire engine so that, you know, cars don't run into it. And then a big back bumper, just in case they decide to run into it anyway. And then also underneath you can see we've added these like kind of running board pieces so that when firemen are are stepping onto the uh, side of the truck to operate the equipment, they have some place to stand. So I think that's all we did to it. Oh, and of course it has a number. I don't know if you remember from my other video, I think that was fire engine number seven. Well, this is fire engine number six. So I don't know if you see that, it's number six. Is it six? I don't have my cheater glasses on. But again, the, the, the overall bulk of this truck, the visual bulk, comes from the fact that it's got the, the tall wheels to it. So it still looks like a truck, it sits higher than a car, but I mean, this is a really compact fire engine, especially if you compare it to modern sets. I mean, I don't know if you can get the dimensions off that. It is not very long. It is uh, only four studs wide, but yet it has all of the you know features of a big city fire engine. Uh, and we have several that are kind of this size, different variations. Some have like the flat windshields and stuff like that. So you can get a lot of fire engines in a, a, you know, crowded around a building. And, and it's really cool to have like six fire engines there as opposed to having one gigantic fire engine that's bigger than the actual building. It's a lot more exciting, a lot more details you can play with. Uh, I have a blog post that will be coming up soon on bricksburg.com that will show you that. Now, having said that, Let's look at some a couple smaller trucks. This, uh, well, this is carrying a bunch of life jackets because this is what we kind of consider our marina pickup. It's six four, no, six five four three is what its design is based on. Now that's a, a marina set. I don't remember if it's called the marina set or not, but it's basically a, a boat marina, and it comes with a truck. We have the set in town. And we have the truck that goes with it. And I think it's, it's, the coloring's reversed and it has Octane written on it. But this is one that we had before that. And uh, it's, it's based exactly off of that set's design. I think there's some very minor tweaks. Um, the tailgate that's on this one is the kind of sort of like notches in place. I can't remember if the one that came with the Marina set notches. Uh, it has a sunroof, which I don't remember if the one that comes with the Marina set has a sunroof. But... It uses the small wheels, so that's sort of, you know, when you put it side by side with one of these big wheeled trucks, I mean, you're still seeing that it's a pickup versus, you know, like a, a truck, right? And that's all because of that wheel size. In length, they're, they're really not that different. You can see that. They're, they're, they're pretty close. In fact, compared to the fire truck, they are almost exactly the same. So it just goes to show you how those, those wheels can really bulk up a ride and make it look like a big truck, but without taking up a lot of space. And I think that that, again, with the whole four wide principles, classic Lego design, allows you to have a lot of action in a very small space. Now I'm gonna show you this truck. This is probably one of my favorite uh, trucks. It was a little, little known set, at least I think it was little known. I'm gonna declare that it was a little known set. And it was 1772. Now, it was a set that, you have to look that one up. And it was an airport accessory truck. It's, it's really a catering truck. These are the trucks you see uh, at the airport that are loading the meals on board for passenger flights. I don't think they do it for the freight flights. I think those folks just kind of have to starve or get McDonald's. I don't know. So what's cool about this truck, again, it uses the small wheels. So even though the cab is basically the same as what we see on the, the big Lego semi, as far as being you know, headlight pieces, doors, sloped windshield, you know, it, it's really the same pieces. Look at the difference in, in how big the trucks seem when they're next to each other, just because of the wheels. I think that's, you know, a really clever thing Lego did to have these truck wheels. But that's okay that it looks a little smaller because it has a big job. And it's that it can elevate so that it can raise that catering level up to go onto the truck. Now I added these stickers in fact, I think the colors on this one are also reversed from the 1772 set. And we added taillights, if you can see those. And we added some bodywork there because it, it looks really, I mean, if I take my fingers away, you see how flimsy this looks. It's, it's just a hinge piece. The whole chassis is a hinge piece. <laughs> That's it. So we wanted to bulk it up a little bit when it was down. And then inside, 
you know, it's got room for food, which we like food. So uh, this is really a cool truck. If you have an airport, especially a classic airport, you're going to want to make one of these. And, and that's all I did. Oh, and we put some like little taillights on the end of the hinge just to give it a little bit of something extra there. But we're around town, it's kind of a cool truck because it's got the slightly like overhanging nose. So it fits into the traffic, but it sort of has that really maneuverable look to it with the axle set way back, kind of like a bus has, you know, so it can turn really tight to get in just the right to position by the airplane. And then, you know, again, this is, you know, you park this next to your airplane, you open it up, uh, it, you know, it looks, it looks pretty cool. Like it looks way more complex than just what it is, which is two hinges stuck together, just like that. So uh, again, small axle, and that's how it pulls it off. Now, having said that, I'm gonna show you one that um, we have, and I can't, I can't separate them because Tyler has these on. He, he put this together and it's, it's really tight. I don't wanna knock it off. It's kind of our cool, uh, kind of our cool truck, and it's kind of a hybrid of the two. So if you look on the front, and of course it's black, so it's kind of hard to put this way. You can see a little bit better. If you look on the front, it's got a regular truck kind of nose to it. It's very similar to this truck, except for the front bumper. But the basic structure is very similar. But where it gets a little bit more interesting, and this kind of goes with the discussion I had before about our city buses, is the, the back... Let me put this where you can see it. There we go. The back wheels are set up with these fenders, these fender pieces. Now the downside of the fender pieces is you have to uh, have a bit of a gap here in order to get because of this chassis so that it'll, you know, the wheels will turn. But by putting that sort of elevated, you get sort of a heavy duty look. And it looks maybe a little strange when I'm holding it, but let me assure you when it's sitting in town uh, in traffic, it actually looks like a, a truck that's, you know, got those really, really stiff heavy duty springs for really heavy loads which in this case is a hot rod, which oh, now I, I am going to lose it because I knocked the chain off. Let's see if I can get that chain back on before it falls off. There we go. So that you know, this truck is technically, because of those fenders sticking out like that, well, and the chain, but mainly the fenders, it's technically six wide or maybe five and a half, uh, but it kind of works still on a four wide scale because you know again it's basically the same size as the fire engine it's not too long and uh, but it's high enough that it looks big in traffic like when you have a lot of traffic on a street it sticks up it looks like big and bulky and of course it has those black wheels and the smoked glass and you know this guy's hauling his hot rod because he's cool all right so th th there were trucks that came after these that i think are, are really notable and I don't know that I can really lift it very well because it doesn't stick together like that yellow semi. But I'm just going to show it for one second here real quick. If I don't drop it. This is mo mostly, it's been modified a bit, and I think one of the cars is different. Uh, but it is mostly the Octan Transporter Set number 6335. And this is probably one of the coolest sets, and uh, we had to have one even though it's quite wide. In fact, if I hold it up here, you can see it's six wide at the back. And it's truly six wide. Uh, there just isn't anything that sticks out beyond that except for these handles. So that's cool. I'm going to separate it now just because it's too easy to... I don't want to have it fall and make a spectacular explosion. Uh, maybe for the blooper reel. So the cool thing about this is it takes some of that same classic Lego aesthetic. And I'm going to... Come back to the yellow semi because that was the original minifig semi and if you look at it it's very similar size right now the wheels are different they're these fat wheels which i'm less a fan of the fat wheels on a semi but it's what a lot of the more recent semis have if you see how much they stick out versus that one like you wouldn't be able to do that on a real truck because it would rub against every car it passed on the street. Uh, but so be it. And, uh, and the front of this is, you know, got a little, they, they dropped the headlights and kind of put those in a, uh, with the extra grill and to make it look visually taller 
but really if I set these side by side it's almost the same so uh, in fact I think it might actually be the same even though there's different wheels and different I think you end up with the same overall height which is kind of interesting really because this truck at the back is, is quite a bit wider because it has these sort of flayed axles or flared axles. And if you can see how they flare out, uh, there's another version of those axles. Well, that's the axles that are on here that are just square bricks as opposed to having that flare, that triangular piece of it. So as a result, you get a truck that's got a little bit wider look to it, but what that does allow is for it to carry cars because of course if the cars are four wide you have to have a tra trailer that's a little bit wider than four wide in order to carry the cars i think on the original set this car is red but we acquired like an actual octan car which was a standalone set at some point and so now that rides on this instead um, i believe we have a video on the channel if you search our channel for this set again it's 6335 uh, you can see this in more detail, but I'll give you the, the highlights here real quick if I can. Well, let's start with the, the semi. So, you know, it has a little storage in the back here for accoutrements. What are those? Uh, coffee mugs. <laughs> I guess everybody has a coffee mug. And they're all got the coffee mugs. Uh, it looks like a sleeper cab, but it doesn't really sleep anything. But if you look kind of behind the driver, you can see there's like some traffic control like cone things jammed in there so that's kind of handy uh, oh th so the reason why this truck works well it's still quite long it's pretty big when it rolls through town but uh, and it is about the size of a building this trailer but because of the specialized nature of this truck it's it kind of is okay uh, because when you're setting up like a race through the town like the speedway or something like that having the street behind it closed off so that you know the race teams have a, a place to park their 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 cars well this is perfect because it really fills that street and makes it look cool so then there's you know let's unload the cars first this is actually a really clever mechanism on this so you know this flips down and then you could drive this car right out onto the street Pe easy peasy and then there is you see that hidden in here are these ramp pieces they just slide right out some of them volunteer and then if you give this a little push up and pull that down now that comes all the way down I don't know if you can hear the cat is there and then well let's see if I, I I can't do it but you would you would fasten these ramps on here to get it the rest of the way to the street so that would give so then this flips down and then it drives on the ramps uh, we added like little danger markings to it and there's a little nub here that then flips down and then your top car comes off it's really really quite clever um, and it uses these specialized, uh, well, I don't even know how specialized they are. They're specialized for us because the, the axle is four studs wide, but then has regular tires on it. So that's kind of unusual in our town. There is a fire extinguishers on the front, and apparently one has fallen off somewhere. I'll have to find it. Uh, so it's half a fire extinguisher. Not very effective. And then the other cool thing is these open up, and it actually opens up all the way so you can see all the way through it. So there's tools on this side. And I'm going to turn it around without dropping anything. There's some tools on that side. And inside here is a dolly for rolling around some tires. There is, let's see. There's one spare tire in there. There's an oil can, which I feel like should actually be fastened on here. So I'm going to do that. So there's the oil can. Put it on there. And there's a jack. Uh, the jack is actually fastened in there, so I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it for now. So that's kind of uh, a really cool part of this set. And it's totally enclosed. It's got a back, back wall to it, so nothing can fall out. And then everything somehow fits together, <laughs> fits together so that the doors will close. Maybe. Well, you get, you, you get where I'm going with it, right? So... Um, just going back to the, the, the initial point of the classic sized town is all of these trucks, when you all jam them all together in a traffic jam, it's, it's still a pretty compact traffic jam, even though we have a whole array of trucks here. 
and uh, and likewise for the for the fire scenes and, and you know compare that to the ambulance that I showed you in the last video uh, you can get a lot of emergency vehicles crowded around um, an incident and it looks really impressive and there's a lot of detail and, and, and you know people getting equipment out and stuff like that and that's part of what's really really cool about the old scale is just the sheer number of things you can get involved whereas if you tried to do that with a, a more modern you know eight wide ten wide uh, you know 50 long uh, fire truck and stuff like that like you basically only have room for one vehicle and nothing else can get close so I encourage you, if you're doing classic style, to look for some of these obscure sets. Uh, like I said, 1772 is great if you have an airport, and uh, you can find the instructions for that online. Uh, you can probably figure it out just from this video. And, uh, and you know, you, all kinds of variations you can do on this basic pickup truck. We've done some with flat noses. We've done some with, like, one extra stud on the nose and, you know, a shorter bed and, and all kinds of things like that. And uh, you get some pickups in there. The haul around your loose cargo and then like classic trucks you know classic style truck using some of the more modern pieces like the fenders to kind of give it that visual heft that it's a you know a, a big transport hauling stuff through town was kind of cool and uh, um yeah that's really all i have to say i guess on that so i, I hope you enjoyed you know a little discussion of, of some of these classic size trucks and uh, th there are ways you can take the, the later sets like this and, and sort of modify them to be a little more classic sized. Uh, there is a great set. I don't remember the number, but it was is actually a truck stop set. And it had uh, basically three different variations of these cabs, including one with a nose on it, that were all with the classic style axles. And uh, we never did get that set. We may try and get it at some point. I don't know, just because trucks are cool, but they're hard to maneuver in a town, obviously. So there's a, you know, only so much usefulness to having a lot of trucks. But uh, I would encourage you to seek those out because they are there and the parts needed to build them are very common. I think the hardest part to come by nowadays are probably these old style wheels just because mostly you, you see those flared axles and then that puts you in a, you know, that, that puts you in kind of a different sort of look to the truck when you have that either the big wheels or the flared axles. Uh, it's just a very different size that you're now dealing with, right? But if you can find them, they're great because you can put, you know, hubcaps and stuff on them to sort of make them fit whatever your vehicle is. You don't have to leave them red. In fact, I think for some time this one had yellow hubcaps on it and then they got changed for I don't know, some reason. So, uh, yeah, that's my little dissertation on Lego trucks and their sizes and my enjoyment of the four wide scale. Uh, share this if you have people that you know that like this kind of thing and please subscribe. Please watch more. There's lots of videos on this channel. There's probably playlists somewhere around here that will tell you where to find them. Thank you very much. See you later, friends.